When you encounter an aggressive driver, you should a. Give them space and not engage. b. Not allow them to pass. c. Speed up. d. Honk at them. When you encounter an aggressive driver, you should a. Give them space and not engage. If you encounter an aggressive driver, it is important to know how to handle the situation safely. The best thing to do is to allow them to pass, get out of their way, and give them space. In no circumstances should you try to interact or engage with an aggressive driver, be it verbally, with a hand gesture, or your horn. These actions will typically make the situation worse. What vehicles must stop at all railroad crossings? A. Passenger buses. B. School buses. C. Trucks transporting hazardous materials. D. All of these. What vehicles must stop at all railroad crossings? D. All of these. There are certain vehicles that are required to stop at all railroad crossings before crossing the tracks, regardless of whether or not the gate is down or lights are flashing. If you are driving behind one of these vehicles as you approach the railroad crossing, you should be prepared to stop. Do not attempt to pass them to get around the tracks more quickly. A triangular orange sign on the rear of a vehicle indicates that A. It is a vehicle that is carrying hazardous material. B. It is a slow-moving vehicle. C. It is an HOV vehicle. D. It is driven by a student driver. A triangular orange sign on the rear of a vehicle indicates that b. It is a slow-moving vehicle. An orange triangular sign is fixed to the rear of a vehicle to indicate a slow-moving vehicle. Slow-moving vehicles displaying these types of signs cannot travel faster than 25 miles per hour. You are driving too slowly if you a. Are driving below 35 miles per hour at any time. B. Are driving below the posted speed limit. C. Block traffic driving at a normal and safe speed. D. Have someone following you too closely. You are driving too slowly if you. C. Block traffic driving at a normal and safe speed. You are driving too slowly if you are impeding upon the normal flow of traffic when other vehicles are driving at a safe, legal speed. Under normal conditions, Drives should be driving at the posted speed limit to ensure a safe and smooth flow of traffic. The headlights must be turned on. A. 30 minutes after sunset until 30 minutes before sunrise. B. 30 minutes before sunset until 30 minutes after sunrise. C. 30 minutes after sunset until 30 minutes after sunrise. D. 30 minutes before sunset until 30 minutes before sunrise. The headlights must be turned on, a, 30 minutes after sunset until 30 minutes before sunrise. When it gets dark and visibility is reduced, your vehicle's headlights serve two purposes. To help you see the road ahead of you, and to help other drivers see you. When the sun sets, it still stays light for a while afterwards. And just before the sun rises, it starts to get light out as well. So, you'll need to turn the headlights on just a little after sunset until a little before sunrise. What is the first thing you should do if your wheels move off the pavement? A. Apply more pressure to the gas pedal. B. Slam on the brakes. C. Hold the steering wheel firmly and release the gas pedal. D. Hold the steering wheel firmly and apply the brakes. What is the first thing you should do if your wheels move off the pavement? C. Hold the steering wheel firmly and release the gas pedal. If your car accidentally leaves the paved road, it can cause you to lose control if you're not carly. When the side of the road is unpaved or uneven, your tires can lose traction and your vehicle can crash. It's important to know how to respond to this situation correctly. The first thing you'll need to do is to keep a strong grip on the steering wheel. Next, you should release the gas pedal so that you will start to slow down. Once your speed has slowed, you will be able to gently apply the brakes or gradually return to the paved road. When may you legally drive around or under a railroad crossing gate? A. Never. B. If the train has passed. 
C. If traffic is getting backed up behind you. D. If you see a green traffic light on the other side of the crossing. When may you legally drive around or under a railroad crossing gate? A. Never. Under no circumstances can you drive under or sound a lowered railroad crossing gate. Even if you can't see any oncoming trains or the train has just passed, do not attempt to cross the tracks until the signals stop flashing and gates are completely raised. You are entering an expressway and are in the acceleration lane. You should speed up to A. Just faster than the speed of traffic on the freeway. B. The posted speed limit on the freeway. C. Just below the speed of traffic on the freeway. D. Match the speed of traffic on the freeway. You are entering an expressway and are in the acceleration lane. You should speed up to D. Match the speed of traffic on the freeway. Use the length of the acceleration lane to get up to speed. Put your turn signal on to indicate that you are merging. Wait for a large enough gap in traffic and merge when safe to do so. When entering the freeway you should pay attention to the type of white lines dividing your lane. You should wait to merge into traffic on the freeway once you reach the point of the acceleration lane with a broken white line or when the lane merges. True or false. It is permissible to pass on the right if the vehicle in front of you is making a left-hand turn. A. True. B. False. A. True. It is permissible to pass on the right if the vehicle in front of you is making a left-hand turn. Passing on the right is acceptable in a variety of circumstances. One of the most common ones being if the car you are passing is waiting to turn left. If you get drowsy while driving it is best to A. Turn the heater on. B. Pull off the road and take a break. C. Turn the radio up. D. Speed up. If you get drowsy while driving it is best to B. Pull off the road and take a break. Drowsy driving or falling asleep behind the wheel is extremely dangerous and can be a common cause of collisions at night. Whenever you get behind the wheel to drive, it is important that you are fit to drive, both mentally and physically. This includes having enough energy to stay awake and focused on the task of driving. If you feel yourself getting tired, you should find the next place to pull off of the road to take a break and rest. Great job! Here are some of your next steps to getting your learner's permit or driver's license. Read and study the official driver handbook from your state DMV. Take more free practice tests at puedomanejar.com. Gather all your necessary forms and documents before you visit the DMV office. Before you know it, you'll be driving in your very own car all by yourself. puedomanejar.com. Free DMV practice tests and much more to help you pass your real exams. Visit us today.